Hey everyone, Brandon with Everyday UV here with our Tesla Universal wall connector. It's been about three months since we've had this installed, and I know I've posted some videos, but I haven't exactly done a video of exactly how it's held up over the last three months. So I wanted to do a quick review, especially with this being a new product on the market. Tesla is selling thousands of these, both for uh, commercial as well as residential use. So let's get into it and talk further about uh, the pros and cons of what we like about this wall connector. So the next pro on our list is the design of the Tesla Universal Wall Connector. Of course, as we know, Tesla tends to make very beautiful products, and the Universal Wall Connector is definitely one of those. We absolutely love the streamlined design, how compact of a charging station it is, especially on the outside of our house. It works well with the exterior of our house. What's really cool is that you can actually buy uh, different face plates that you can swap out to add different colors, and you can purchase some vinyls online, uh, specifically from Test Bros, where you can customize this a little bit further. Another thing that we really like about it is the status light. It's really well done. If it's blue, uh, if, it's a if it's a static blue, that means that the vehicle is charged or it's initiating the charge. Uh, if it's pulsating uh, like this waterfall effect of green, that means your vehicle is charging and so forth. Um, so overall, the design is absolutely beautiful. And what's really nice about this design too is that it has integrated cable management too. So whenever you're done charging your vehicle, you can wrap the cable around the charger and that's it. It's a seamless design, and that's one thing that we absolutely love about it. So some long-term viewers of Everyday EV might know, in our previous house, we did have a uh, Siemens wall charger connected to, our, uh, connected to our house, and in the winter time, the cable tends to get a bit tough. It was kind of hard to uh, maneuver around your vehicle, and uh, the flexibility of the cable was very tough. But that's one thing that led us to purchase the Tesla Universal Wall Connector. The cable itself is super light, it's super flexible, and honestly, it feels really durable as well. So that's one of our favorite things about this, is exactly how easy it is to pick up, walk it to our vehicle, and plug in. A lot of home chargers tend to have thicker cables, and if you're looking for something that isn't quite as thick, highly recommend the Universal Wall Connector. Another really cool feature that we didn't realize our universal wall connector had at the time of purchasing this is the power share capability. With the Tesla Cybertruck announcement in November of 2023, Tesla announced that the Cybertruck has the ability to power share with the right uh, setup at your house in order to power your house up to three and a half days, which is awesome. And the universal wall connector is actually part of that entire ecosystem. When we bought it, Tesla hadn't announced that PowerShare capability, but we did receive confirmation from Tesla via email that even though that this is an older version that we pre-ordered in uh, October and had it installed in November before the Cybertruck launch and announcement, it still has PowerShare capability. So if other Tesla products, or if we ever end up with the Cybertruck per se, and we have the right setup, we'll be able to power our house with that. So. That is one thing that we're really happy that our Universal Wall Connector offers. So our last two pros of the Tesla Universal Wall Connector is actually a pretty big one. Not everybody has a home setup in order to max out the power of the Universal Wall Connector, which can max out at 48 amps or about 11.5 kilowatts. For our install, we maxed it out because we had a 200 amp panel, but what's really cool about the Tesla Universal Wall Connector, as well as Tesla Wall Connectors in general, is that you can actually be flexible in terms of the power output of the charging station, depending on your house setup. So you can dial this back to 32 amps, so you get seven kilowatts, or if you would like, you can uh, go up to 40 amps and get about eight to nine kilowatts or 10 kilowatts. So it really just depends on what your house is uh, capable of offering in terms of power output. So that's one thing that we really like about the universal wall connector is just how flexible it is in terms of the install and as well as the usability. And the last pro is going to be the price point. The price point is fantastic. I honestly think it's the best deal on the market. It starts at about $599 uh, before tax and shipping. That is expensive compared to some charging stations on the market, but just the flexibility and the features that the universal wall connector offers and the ability to be universal to plug into every electric vehicle and have it work using the magic dock adapter, which we'll talk about in a second, that price point is fantastic, especially having a well-connected and reliable home charging station. So now on the topic of Magic Dock, it's really nice and secure within the housing of the universal wall connector. There's actually a pin that keeps the uh, Magic Dock adapter inside. So when you press on this actuator right here, you'll hear the pin go up inside the charger, which will then release the adapter. 
it's really not that tough, but it's cold out and my hands are a bit wet. So it's really easy to actually pull out of the housing. But when you're looking at the Magic Dock adapter that's connected to the red Nax connector, it's really secure on there. I don't really think unless you're really pulling hard, this is gonna come off very easily. So in terms of theft, especially in a public install application, like, well, I guess this technically could be that somebody, if they tried hard enough, I'm sure could get this off, but in everyday use, that is not coming off. One thing I do wanna talk about is the high quality of this connector. This actuator is metal and this button is metal too. Um, the spring feels a bit weak, so I'm curious to know how that's gonna hold up over time, but in the past three months, and in terms of like charging our leaf using this, we haven't really had any issue, but I am curious to know how that's gonna hold up, but I guess that's what it's warranty is for. But overall, everything works really well. And then when you slide that in there, you'll hear the pin drop down, and then you can pull out the red Max connector. I do wanna point out though, some people online have had some issues with the universal wall connector not working with certain specific vehicles. So just bear in mind, just be mindful of that, but Tesla is aware of the issue and hopefully some software updates come out for this to work with it but we haven't had any issues charging our Nissan Leaf. So as we wrap up the pros of the universal wall connector, uh, the few things that I do wanna talk about um, are the connected features of this wall charger. So one thing that we wanted to do in our previous house, we had what we would call a dumb charger. It was a non-internet uh, connected charging station, so we couldn't monitor the status of the charge, if it was working, if there was anything wrong. But with the Tesla Universal wall connector, you can do that all through the Tesla mobile app. And that's one of our favorite things about this is that it's all housed within one mobile app. So um, what's cool is that you have your My homepage. And what's cool about this is that as you expand the Tesla ecosystem, say to like power walls, or uh, solar panels, this image will actually expand. And if you have more than one uh, wall connector as well as vehicles charging, this will expand as well. So it's pretty cool to see that they reflect like a home directly in here. So when you plug in your vehicle, you'll actually be able to see a live status of how many kilowatts are being delivered to a vehicle. If you have a Tesla vehicle, you'll see a little icon of a Tesla in there. If it's a non-Tesla vehicle, it's just going to be what actually looks like a Polestar too, but it's more of like a blank slate of a vehicle. Um, but overall, this is a very simple overview of exactly how your wall connector is charging your vehicle. Another thing that we want to show in here too is that you can see your charge history. Uh, this will give you the, an idea of how many kilowatt hours were delivered to your vehicle in any given charge session. This is going to be tallied over months. Um, and in terms of if you're owning a Tesla vehicle, you can set your utility price rate for your electricity and get an idea of exactly how much it costs to charge your vehicle. And one thing is we're utilizing our uh, Tesla mobile app to monitor our charge status and exactly how much it costs to charge our electric vehicles. Tesla does offer the ability to connect to your utility in terms of putting in your utility electric rate, um, as well as if your state isn't available, like it's not here in Ohio yet, when you're looking at the Tesla mobile app, you can actually put in a custom rate and calculate exactly how much a charge costs. So when we first put this uh, wall connector up and powered it on and everything, that wasn't a feature, which means Tesla is continuously updating this with new features. So I'm really hoping that the reporting that I mentioned earlier in terms of digging further into charge sessions and looking at data will eventually be out for the vehicle. But another thing too uh, we do want to mention is that you can restrict access to certain vehicles and you can provide access to up to five drivers using the universal wall connector uh, and the tesla mobile app so that's really nice especially if you you know say for example have a rental property and you have one of these uh, available for guests to utilize you can limit that and you can restrict this so nobody can just pull into your driveway and start charging so that's a really nice feature of this but really the one con that we have at the moment is the fact that you really can't dig further into any charging sessions. So one last connected feature I do wanna mention is that you can actually set charge schedules using the Tesla mobile app. So say for example, you live in a region or a state that has time of use electrical rates where it's cheaper to say charge at night, you can set a schedule uh, charge session using the Tesla mobile app and your vehicle won't start charging until it hits that set time which is really nice, it makes it easy. Um, sadly, here in Ohio, we don't have that yet, um, but if we ever do, we'll be able to use the Tesla mobile app to get that started. So overall, we really, really like the fact that we have the Tesla Universal Wall Connector as an option for our vehicles. Really happy with it, especially with how fast it can charge your car. Uh, overall, we're very impressed with it, and as I mentioned, the price point makes us a strong competitor to other charging stations on the market for a home charging setup. 
Well, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to Everyday EV. We really appreciate all the support. And make sure you take care, stay safe, and make everyday electrifying. I'll see you in the next one.